here we are, John Rawson. Uh, I mean, to me, I've known you, what, since the 80s. <laughs> and thank you so much for doing this. It's an absolute for pleasure. Me, I think, you know, we see a lot of hairdressers out there doing amazing things. Yeah. Um, but there's a, there's a story to that. Sure. And, you know, you were a hairdresser. Yes. And I always remember, I was so envious, that school you used to have. Yeah, absolutely. In, uh, Poland Street. Poland Street. Yeah. Tell us, you know, a little bit of that beginning. Yeah. And then how you then moved from being a, 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 a great teacher and, and head of yeah. Bow International yeah. to then to what you're doing now. Um, I think it, I'd, I'd done it for 15 years, Anthony. That was the thing. And then the company was changed hands. I mean, they wanted us to go and, um, and do a lot of work in America. And I found myself at the same time getting more and more and more interested in doing imagery rather than doing hair. I just felt as though I wasn't quite so in love with it anymore. I just wanted to be in the studio. I wanted to, to create stuff and to do work and whatever. And then a friend of mine, he was a really good top photographer, um, called Martin Braden. Do you ever remember yeah, yeah, Martin? I remember, I remember. Brilliant yeah. guy. And whatever. He said, well, why don't you come and assist me for a few months and see if you, if you really love being in the studio and you love doing it and you love whatever. So I, so I just did that and we worked together and did loads of stuff and tested and tested and tested and tested. 18 months later, I was a photographer. Okay. How do you think the, the fact that you're a hairdresser has helped with your photography? I think it's a real bonus, and I think it has its negative side as well. As well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I still love hair. I mean, I love, I love the medium, and I love looking at it, and I love the feel of it. But I think sometimes, particularly in retouch and what's, whatever, is a huge advantage for me, because I know exactly how, what it's supposed to do, and I can stop it from being over-retouched almost, because I still want to see the beauty in it. And yet sometimes I find it frustrating because people then sometimes put stuff in front of the camera that I think is not as beautiful as it should be. Um, do, you, do you kind of get involved in the hair side of it with them or do you find that you need to keep back with that? I, I think that depends on the client. Yeah. Some, you know, some clients want that and that's why they book me. Other people that we've worked with a lot, like I can... Yeah. You know, I, very I much your own person. Yeah, but he, but he knows me so well and I know him so well yeah. that, that, for example, he'll, he'll mm -hmm. spend two hours doing something backstage yeah. and he'll bring it out to put it in front of camera and then kind of look at me and, if, and go, that's not right, is it? And mm -hmm. I'll go, well, I'm not 100% sure. And he'll just take her away again mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we've worked together enough for that mm -hmm. to be a, a confidence, really. Mm -hmm. But it depends on the client. It's the same as a client coming in the salon almost. Mm -hmm. Does that client want to tell you what they want to do completely? and you do what they want to do, or do they want to have something from you? It's, it's their choice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us what, you know, We've won 10, I think, 10 awards with, with wow, Hobbs. That's fantastic. Um, but Uckham was my junior. There you go. In the, in the late sort of 80s and whatever, and, uh, and then we didn't see each other for quite a long time and whatever, and then, and then he found out I was doing photography. He's mad. Yeah. He's, he's, he's mad. His he's yeah. passion for it is, is... He has the same passion that you have, I think. You know, he loves the medium, loves the work, and, uh, and he's difficult to work with because he'll, because he, he'll work all night. Yeah, yeah. You know? he wants to get something. He yeah, does it, it doesn't matter. Till he, till it doesn't matter. It. You know? I think Uckham's work's beautiful. It can be very graphic and very strong, and you know, it would be ugly if a lot of other people did it. But I think he manages to do it in a way that makes it beautiful. And I think that's a funny element, actually, of a lot of the stuff that we do, is that trying to make it beautiful even if it's avant-garde and even if it's out there mad. And that's why I kind of have the most respect for people that do beautiful work. You not only work with hairdressers, yeah. you work with different mediums, makeup, yeah. and, and I, I saw yeah. that amazing yeah. book yeah. that you worked on. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, that, that came up out of, out of um, again, just a collaboration that we did on a shoot, and uh, we've worked with, uh, her name's Lan, Lan Grillis, and I've worked with Lan a lot photographically. She's done loads and loads of shoots for us. I've never done it before. Yeah. And so actually I was quite nervous before the event because it's something that, that I'm not familiar with and I don't, you know, it's not my comfort zone really, which was brilliant to do, I have to say, and I loved every, loved every second of it. But it's, there's a lot of waiting around, it's very time consuming. She did yeah. one thing with little sort of jewels on the face and that took like eight hours to, oh God. to do, yeah. which was amazing. <coughs> she had yeah. the girl lied on the floor for eight hours and they did all them and it was just amazing. And then to shoot it takes... 20 minutes, you know, yeah, so, yeah. so that's all very different, but, yeah. but I love doing that and I'd love to do more of that actually. Your, your work is absolutely brilliant, thank so you. I think you do an amazing job thank for the hair industry, so thank Thanks you very for much. Asking me. It's great, great to have you Thank you.